Meorf! Hey, ow! You chumps are tougher than you look! But I'm not through yet! Everyone, get him! Uh-oh. Oh my goodness gracious, no! How's it going, everybody? My name is Al, and welcome to the Nerd Room. Today we're playing some Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Let's get into it. Hello, what's up with this old oh boy? Okay, I was gonna ask what's up with the rock. I'm guessing that's the dragon. Whoa, what was that? Oh, is that a... Wow, Mario, look! Uh, yeah, yeah, that's definitely a dragon. Totally incredible. I've never seen anything that humongous before. It looked kind of scary, too. Weird. Professor Frankly said this place was peaceful. Wow, crazy. We just started, and already there's intrigue. Come on, Mario, let's go. Okay, anyway, after that interruption, what's up with this rock? Why is there a black hole on it? Is this literally nothing? Is that... Is that literally just a design choice? Okay. Okay, no, definitely not a design choice. Definitely not a design choice. So I probably have to find some kind of item that slots into these holes and then some secret will appear on this pedestal here, probably. Oh, hello. What have we here? Oop! Dang it! <laughs> Frick, I missed with my hammer. And... Hoya! Anyway, as I was going to say, what's in here? Oh, that looks fancy. You got close call. When Mario's in danger, cause enemies to sometimes miss. Okay, cool. So is that a badge? Why not? Let's equip that. <laughs> Seeing as we're going to be fighting a dragon eventually, I feel like uh, making the dragon miss a few of its whoop, miss a few of its attacks might be more than a little useful. Hello, what have we here? Oh. Uh, can I make that jump? Well, one way to find out. Hiya! Nope. Oh, dang it! <laughs> Okay, so no, I can- oh no, Mario, don't! Oh, dang it. That went about as horribly as it could have. Not only did I not make the jump, I landed on top of a spiky Goomba. Dang, nabbit. All right, well, let's just deal with these guys. Hiya! I did not defend against that at all. Ooh, uh, I do not have a lot of health. Okay, Mario, let's deal with this guy and then, uh, then, uh, pop a mushroom or something. Oh. Oh, okay. I was thinking, what's going on here? So what do I want to upgrade? Increase maximum BP by three. Great if you like to use badges. Well, I don't have a lot of badges at the moment. And I still have one uh, badge point remaining. So if I find another one, I can just equip it. Flower points. Again, I haven't used it that much. So I think I'll upgrade my HP. Okay, cool. And that actually means I didn't have to use the mushroom. Sweet. Oh, one more thing, Mario. If you ever find yourself, like, wondering what to do, just press X and use my tattle ability, okay? I might be able to look up some useful info that'll help us on our adventure. Oh, um... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I was about to say I can't make it across this river. There's a button in the background and there's a pipe back there. Is there a pipe somewhere over here? Gotta be something, right? I, I have to be able to get to the background so that I can hit that button. Dang it, I don't see anything. Uh, Gumbella, you're up. The river running through here totally makes the air crisp and refreshing. Hey, and by the way, Mario, have you tried checking the grass around here? Sometimes those clumps of grass hide good stuff, so always check them with A. Like this stuff? Oh yeah, that's a solid thing. Okay. So that had a coin. That also had a coin. There we go, we got it. <laughs> oh my goodness, I absolutely love this. Wham! <laughs> My goodness, the style of this game is amazing. I love it. <laughs> this is a game they really need to have an HD re-release of. Currently, it's only available, I assume, as like an emulator online, or, like I have, the GameCube version. <laughs> like, Nintendo, this game, so far, I've only been playing it for like, uh, like, two and a half hours or something like that. Already, I am completely in love with this. It is it is amazing. <laughs> Who knows what this does? Take a chance and find out. All right. Oh, okay, okay, so it's not a, so it's not a mystery item that I use in the overworld. I assume I have to use it in battle. Okay. Oh, here we go, we found a town. Petalburg. Welcome, travelers. Hmm? Where are you, you ask? Why, this is Petalburg. 
Sorry, but it's been a long time since we've had visitors here. We're kind of remote. Yeppity, once that dragon hooktail was spotted flying around this area. Well, it didn't help tourism. Put it that way. People just stopped visiting. Dragon? Hooktail? That must have been the huge thing we saw earlier, Mario. So it's called Hooktail, huh? Ooh, scary name. Pfft. I mean, was she saying that sarcastically? Because honestly, I think that name's kind of badass. <laughs> So, anyway, Green Boots, have you ever heard of these things called Crystal Stars? We're on this quest for them. It's very important. Crystal Stars, you say? Hmm. Nope. Can't say that I have. Sorry about that. You might want to speak with the mayor, though. He's old. Really, really old. As such, he knows all kinds of stuff we don't. Koopas of his age are, um, really smart. Anyway, the mayor lives in that pink house up ahead. You should go check it out. A pink house? Sounds totally hideous, but it should be easy to find. Thanks for your help. Oh, hello, what's with the disco dog here? Ah, bonjour, mademoiselle. It is a beautiful day, no? Okay, of all accents for this guy to have, I would not have picked French. Uh, no, 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 no. Not you, Monsieur Mustache. I am speaking to the lovely little cabbage behind you. <laughs> What do you say, my pretty? Abandon this dullard and come away with moi. Ew, are you kidding? Ew, nice wig, you disco wannabe. Take a hike, bozo the dork. Oh, 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 sacre bleu. Such brutal honesty. Such a sharp tongue. Well, I retreat for now. If you change your mind, Cherie, come find me. What a total sleaze. Let's go somewhere else, Mario. Tang, I did not expect a Mario game to have the word sleaze in it. <laughs> oh, hello. There's a badge back there. Can I slip through here? Come on, Mario. Just, just, just tilt yourself 90 degrees. You got this. Just, come on. Get in there. Get in there. Okay, I don't think this is gonna work. Anyway, this is the pink house, so I assume we'll find the mayor in here. Oh my goodness. Hi. Hmph. Where's it? Someone there? Who is it? Who? What do you want from me? I know. You're thieves. Here to rob a defenseless old Koopa. Despicable. Go on, do what you will. But as you can plainly see, there's nothing to steal here. Oh, I guess I have a little money. Take it, you fiends. And my antique shell, too. Just leave the photos of me and the missus. Can't do without those memories. What? Not thieves, you say? Well, what's your story then? Oh wait, you folks looking for the crystal stars? Well, why didn't you pipe up before, you idiot? We're just wasting time here. The crystal stars you say you're hunting. Erm, um, wait, what did I hear about those dang things again? Aha, uh -huh, got it. Hooktail. Hooktail's got what you're looking for. It's this enormous ornery dragon. Eats folks, they say. You know Hooktail, right? I may have heard the name. Well, this hooktail's brutal fly-by snack and have all us on pins and needles. So are you reckless fools? I mean, are you gallant heroes off to rough it up? What? Hold on now. This does sound promising. Why, if you can rid us of hooktail, we'll shower you with gratitude and rewards. Wait, what's that I hear? You'll accept no reward? I didn't say that. What an unselfish man. You're noble indeed. Yep, a good egg. Now, what did you say your name was again? Murphy? Hmm, that's a fine name. Yes, a fine name indeed. Well now, Murphy. The name is Mario. I appreciate that, Murphy. They are nice eyebrows. Now listen up. <laughs> okay, I love this guy. If you're intent on going to Hooktail's castle, find the secret pipe near this village. I don't know where it's at, but I know you need stone keys to use that pipe. The keys are somewhere in Schwank's Fortress, just past the village. Get them first. What the heck is a Schwank? Well then, Murphy, get going and take care of that Hooktail monster. All right then, I, I guess I've been hired by the town mayor? Oh, you got an email. What? <laughs> what? What, does Mario have an iPhone? My controller's even vibrating. <laughs> Wait, RDM registration. What the heck is that? 
Direct mail verification. Dear Mario, thank you for registering with Rogueport Direct Mail Service. Your kind friend, Mr. Frankly, referred you to us. Our direct mail service will provide you with regular, timely news updates. We hope you enjoy our service. Well, I guess I gotta read this in Professor Frankly's voice, right? Hello, Mario. Working hard? Professor Frankly here, in e-form. It's highly likely you'll receive emails like this one while you're on your journey, so check your mail often. I actually have nothing more to say than that, so I hope all goes well for you, and I look forward to getting more information on those crystal stars. Professor Frankly. Oh, and then he sent us a nice photo. <laughs> An old stronghold called Schwank Fortress lies ahead. A stone creature lives there. At least, it might live there. This gate is to keep it out. My job is guarding the gate. So, let me get this straight. The only line of defense that this town has from whatever creature is living in Schwank's fortress is a picket fence and a single Koopa. I feel like that, you know, once the dragon showed up and started, as the mayor put it, fly by eating people, they would have upped the defense budget a little bit. But if the mayor says it's okay, I'll let you pass. Careful out there, though. Um, excuse me. Er, uh, I beg your pardon. Wait a moment, please. Is that the mayor? Oh, no, it's not the mayor. Okay. <laughs> pardon me if you're yelling like that. I was panicking. Um, how to begin? My name's Coops. I heard you're traveling to Hooktail's castle. So anyway, I, uh, I have a favor to ask. Okay, Coops, you can spit it out any time now. <laughs> well, um... Oh, just, just forget it. Never mind. Ignore me. G goodbye. Okay, that was weird. What do you think that was all about? Talk about issues. Okay, that guy's probably gonna join our party at some point. Oh, hello. Got a star piece, nice. Oh, we're fighting Koopas now. So what's their deal? That's a Koopa Troopa. They've been around forever. Gotta respect the longevity. Their shells are hard, but flip them over and their defense drops to zero. And you know how to flip them over, right? Just jump on their heads. Oh, okay, I get it. So the jump that probably, like, makes them flip over will probably do zero damage, but after that, they're open to attack. Okay. Le boop! Okay, yep, yep, that was exactly right. Well, bam <laughs> Oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> could you imagine? Just a, just a full hammer strike right on your gut. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Jeez. <laughs> My goodness, it's a good thing that guy missed. They travel like bullets. Dagnabbit, Mario, hit the... <laughs> hit the dang block. There we go, jeez. <laughs> Attack all ground-bound enemies. Okay, cool. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> all right, I'm guessing this is Schwamp's Fortress. Oh. That guy's gonna come to life. I just know it. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Eh, eh, wham! Dang it, I missed! <laughs> Alright, Gumbella, tell us what you know about these guys. That's a bald cleft. Basically a rock monster with a swarthy-looking face. Uh, this is kind of mean, but bald guys really just don't do it for me. I mean, I wouldn't call that mean, that's just more personal preference, you know? Max HP is 2, attack is 1, and defense is 2. Yeah, this guy is rock solid. Fire doesn't even hurt it. It might be best to attack with, say, a POW block. Oh, well, conveniently enough, I just got a couple of those. Alright, cool, that was easy. <laughs> just one POW block and BAM, they're gone. Alright. There we go. Now we can head deeper into the fortress. My goodness. <laughs> oh, wham! There we go, I got the first strike. Jeez Louise. Oh dear, okay, well, I guess that doesn't work. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so am I able to jump on them since the main spikes are going like to either side of these guys? 
Nope, nope, it does it does not work that way. Uh, how am I supposed to attack these guys, Gumbella? That's a bristle, totally covered in spikes. They're so prickly. Max HP is two, attack is one, and defense is four. Dang. And they're impervious to fire. Even trying to get close enough to whack it with a hammer is dangerous. Seriously, its spikes will totally pop out. So since you can't jump on it or use your hammer, you'd better use an item. Oh no, oh frick. Ah, dang it. Okay, good, I was able to defend against that one. So these are guys that I specifically have to take out with items. There we go. Jeez, I hope I pick up more of those things because it looks like the POW block is a requirement to deal with the enemies in this fortress. Oh, you got an inn coupon, what? A free pass lets you stay one free night at an inn. Oh, cool. Okay, so is there some kind of... Oh, boy. Uh, hey, Gumbella, do you have any information on this guy? Do I require a POW block to defeat him? Because if so, we need to leave this room right now and go find a POW block, because otherwise, we ain't dealing with this guy at all. This is Schwank's Fortress. Suspicious statue. I'm pretty sure it's a thwomp bust. Hey, I just remembered something I read about this place in a book. Whenever the villagers were confronted with a monster, they'd hide in this fortress. I guess there's a little bit of history everywhere. You look, huh, Mario? <laughs> and Mario's asleep. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, 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 they hide in the fortress. Yeah, very interesting. Oh, anyway. Do, do I risk fighting this thing? Like, I know for a fact that it's going to be like the same thing. It's going to be impervious to fire. And most likely highly resistant to all my other attacks, so this is going to be a real tough fight if I don't have a POW block. Am I able to search elsewhere for for another POW block? Doesn't look like it. Dagnabbit, okay, well, <sighs> guess we just gotta take our lumps and see what happens. All right, big guy, please be gentle. Mm-hmm, hoo-ha-ha! <laughs> You're the first contestants I've seen in a while. If you've come all the way here to Schwank Fortress, you must want stone keys. And if that's the case, then you must compete against me. If you win, I'll let you through to where the stone keys rest. However, if you lose, you will suffer a terrible fate. And by terrible, I mean awful. Mm-hmm, hoo-ha-ha. So, what do you want to do? I, I guess I'll take you on. Oh. Mm-hmm. Hoo-ha-ha. You're in for it now. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> Is this a quiz show? <laughs> hey, hey, ladies and germs. Welcome, everybody, to the 65th Super Fun Quirk Quiz. Perk up those ears. If you correctly answer five of the following questions, you win. But get three of them wrong, and you'll suffer a cruel and unusual punishment. Now, for the first question. What's hidden in this place? Oh, uh, stone keys. Is that your real answer? Are you sure? Uh, yes. <laughs> Arg! That's correct. That question was too easy, but it only gets harder from here. Much harder. So prepare yourself. On to question two. What do one Mr. Softner and one Fireflower cost at the shop in Petalburg? Total. Oh, ah, uh, this is literally going to be a complete guess. Okay. Twelve? Dang it, no. Mm-hmm. Hoo-ha-ha. -ha. Wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. You fools. Remember, if you get three wrong, you're going to suffer like you wouldn't believe. Mm-hmm, hoo-ha-ha, -ha. don't let the pressure get to you. Moving on, question three. What is the name of the mayor of Petalburg? Wait, did he even say his name? I think they just called him the mayor. Was it Krupp? That sounds right, let's go with Krupp. Yes, okay. Arg. that's correct. We're not done yet, folks. Question four. Tell me now, where is the Crystal Star? Uh, that would be Hooktail's castle. Yeah! Are you ready for the diabolical question five? How can one get from Petal Meadows to Rogueport? 
Uh, go through a pipe. Arg! Right again! Tell me you didn't just get your fourth right answer. It can't be true. That's it. I'm making the rest of these near impossible. Get ready for brain pain. On to question six. Which of the following creatures have hands? Uh, that would be Koopa Troopas. Is that your real answer? Are you sure? Yes, Regis, that is my final answer. <laughs> yeah, we got it. No, arg. That's, that's right. You correctly answered five questions. I don't believe it. You win. Okay, that went a lot more smoothly than I was expecting. I thought I would have to actually fight this guy. Instead, he just challenged me to a quiz. So very angry. I can't believe I lost. I guess I have to let you through, stupid rules. All right, perfect. Humph. Hey, no need to be all salty about it, man. I, you you challenged me. I won fair and square. All right. Oh my goodness. Okay. Some tells me I want to avoid that guy. Eh, frick, I missed. <laughs> ah, frick. Ah. Jeez. Did it just try to like suck out my life energy? What the heck? Get away from me, you freaky bugger! Hiya. Hello. What have we here? You got a sunstone, a mystical stone shaped like the sun. Ah, which I bet goes into that little uh, slot we saw from the, uh, that, that circle of rocks from the beginning of the episode. Oh dear, hi. Ooh, there's a lot of ya. Might as well start working my way through them one at a time, huh? Yep. Dang it. Oh, dang it. Okay, so when they do that... Oh. Eh. Dang it. <laughs> so whenever they do that, they steal health from me. Eh. Okay, there we go. I was able to block that one at least. Oh, you know what? You know what, maybe that would have actually been a good time to use the fire flower. Oh well, too late now. At the very least, I know for a fact that this is going to be more than enough star points for me to level up. Boop! Perfect. There we go. Oh, what? Huh? Um... Oh wait, was the sunstone the stone key they were talking about? I guess it must be, because I, when, when they said stone key, I was expecting like an actual, like, you know, a key, like a house key kind of thing, like when we opened the, uh, like when we opened the chest back in the Rogueport sewers. Oh, wait a minute. Aha! Didn't see you before. So the sun key's that way, this is probably where I'll find the moon key. Oh. Oh, okay, I can only carry a certain amount of items. So what's my limit at the moment? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can only carry ten items at a time right now. I'm not sure if that'll be upgraded in the future, but yeah, for the time being, I can only carry ten. I don't think I really need to worry about the inn coupon. The inn only cost, like, what was it, five or ten coins? I think I can live with that. Ah, yep, there we go. One moonstone. And now we're going to get attacked by another, another fuzzy. And now I am definitely using the fire flower. Take this! hi -yah! Yeah, there we go. Just clear the field. All right, well, now that I use that fire flower, is that in coupon still here? Uh, nope, it despawned. Okay, whatever. <laughs> okay. Meork! What the frick? Hey, you suspicious types! This is our place, and coming in here is rude, rude, rude! Sorry, suckers. If you want a warm welcome, too bad. Now I lunch on your head. Oh, dear. Well, uh, here it comes. Oh, dear. Well, I'll go ahead and use Mario to just jump on this guy. Uh, just like that. And now, Goombella, uh, any information on this guy? That's a gold fuzzy. Whoa, those are super rare. I'm serious. Wow. Max HP is 10, attack is 1, and defense is 0. Oh, but hey, even though it's a fuzzy, it won't suck up your HP, which is nice. I have to wonder, though, how does this thing hide? Look at it. It's so gaudy. Meorf! Hey, ow! You chumps are tougher than you look. But I'm not through yet. Everyone, get him! Uh-oh. 
Oh my goodness gracious, no! Okay, uh, I think I need to purge the stage a little bit, uh, just as soon as I get bingo. Dagnabbit. <laughs> Alright, Goombella, you know what to do. It's time for a little pest control. <laughs> that doesn't seem to have worked. Oh dear. Oh dear. Ah, frick! Ah, ah, frick! Get off of me! Oh my goodness, my eyes can't even... My eyes can't even make sense of, like, the the mob in front of me right now. It's just blurring together. <laughs> oh, okay, so the Fuzzy Horde has three health left, so... Uh, one attack from Mario and one attack from Goombella should clear them out. Hopefully. Get the frick out of here! And now... Oh, never mind, never mind, they're not cleared out, they're not cleared out! Ah, frick! Ah, frick! Ah! Jeez! Ah, jeez! Ay, 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 okay, okay, yeah, we, we still need to use the fire flower. Oh, we only got one left. Well, here's hoping it's enough. Frickin' die! <laughs> Did that work? Yes, it worked, okay. Jeez. <laughs> The enemy- oh my goodness, they're still here! Mierg! You got me! Okay, there we go, that'll clear him out. Ay, yeah, yeah. let's get the heck back to Pedalberg. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, feel free to hit that like button down below and to share this video with your friends. And if you want to stay up to date on future videos, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Until next time, y'all have yourselves a good day. See ya!